I need a new replacement car a couple of years ago, and there I am in my new car. What do you think of that? That is a red 1969 Jaguar XKE. And I bought that car because it's a collector car that's going to do nothing but go up in value. This is a great investment. That's why I bought it, right? No, not right. It's true that it's a great investment. There's no doubt about it. But I bought that car because it is a thrill to drive that car. It corners like the wild mouse. It accelerates like crazy. And it is the sexiest, slinkiest car I have ever seen. <laughs> and I put that top down, and I love the feeling of the wind in my hair. OK, strike the hair part. That's why I bought the car. It is way, way, way fun. That's why I bought the car. And I justified it with, it's a great investment. We human beings make our decisions emotionally and justify them rationally. That's how it works. If you're a real rational person, you still do that. Although the rational part may have a bigger influence on your decision making. But we make our decisions based on what's here, primarily. Here's how Daniel Goleman puts it. He says, we are not thinking feeling beings that feel. We are feeling beings that think. That's what comes first. And so it is for the people who look to you for leadership. Emotional factors are four times as effective as rational ones in engaging employees. You want your people to be engaged? You got to get them down here.